Hey guys, welcome back to the fundamental problems of chapter 5. We're on problem 11. And we're still trying to find reactions. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at this drawing, right? And we're trying to find the force developed in cores BD, CE, CF, and reactions at the ball and socket joint at A. Alright, so right away they give you, they give something away. They tell you that here at point A, we have a ball and socket joint. All right, so that's going to be the bond socket has reactions in all three directions. So AZ, AX, and AY. All right. And then we have tensions. So I'm just going to call it like, uh, let's call it TE, uh, T. T F and T D. All right. So T E and T D are both pointing upwards, okay, in the Z direction. T F is pointing in the negative X direction. All right. Let's just get that out of the way. And now that we have that. Let's just start with our little algorithm. Forces in the X direction. We have A X. We have a positive six kilonewtons going this way, and minus T F. That's a T. All right. Now forces in the Y equal zero. Okay. And what do we have in the Y direction? Let's see. We have a Y. And is that all? Yes. So that's it. So we have AY equals zero. And last but not least, we have forces in the Z direction. Okay, so in the Z direction we have AZ going up plus TD plus TE, all right, and then minus nine. Perfect. Okay. Now, now we have this, let's do the same thing again. So moments about the x-axis, okay? So these don't contribute anything to the x-axis, right? TD, right? If you draw the line of action, it's gonna intersect x-axis, so it doesn't contribute anything. TF and this six kilonewton force are parallel to the x-axis, so we don't care about those. So we're only going to be looking at TE and the nine. Okay. So we're going to have TE times. If I'm doing this correctly, it's going to be three meters. I think that's three meters. Okay. And it's going to be positive. Okay. And then what else do we have? So TE times three, and then we have nine times three. Okay, so cancel out those threes, and then we have TE equals nine kilometers. Gosh, it's okay. okay. So if we go back, okay, we still can't do anything. All right, but at least we got TE. Now let's do it about the, let's do the Z axis. I'm just gonna skip the Y direction for now. Let's do it, oops. Let's do it about the Z axis. All right, so about the Z axis, we have things that are in the Z direction don't contribute. So the nine, T, E, A, Z, they go away. And then we're left with things that don't interfere with the Z axis. So. We have AY, which is 0 times 4, okay, and that'll be positive, okay, but who cares about this term? Then AX, if you extend a line of action, it's going to intersect the origin, which again intersects Z, so we don't care about that one. Then we have the 6 kilonewtons, okay, so 6 kilonewtons. Uh, minus 6 times 3, okay, 
then last but not least, we have TF. Um, TF times 3 equals 0. And then which direction is TF going? Or TF times 3, the moment that it causes. Well, that should be positive. Alright, so again, the 3s go away here. Right? And that tells me that TF is equal to 6 kilometers. Boom, nice. So we have TF, TE. Now that I know TF, well, let's find AX. And that will be 0. Okay, 6 minus 6, 0. Nice. All right, last. Last thing, oh, so I guess we do need a moment about the Y. So let's do moment about the Y axis. Okay. All right, so f let's see. Okay, TD, the line of action, intersects Y, so it doesn't count. AX intersects Y, doesn't count. AY is parallel to Y, that doesn't count. The six kilonewton force, if you keep drawing its line of action, it's going to intersect Y. Again, that doesn't count then. So we're left with AZ times 4. I'm just listing these things off just so you can kind of realize, okay, why why isn't he doing this? And then, you know, I'm explaining why I'm not taking those into account. Okay, so AZ times 4, and that'll be negative. Okay. Then the 9 kilonewton, so positive 9 times 4. Then we have... TE, right, if we drop it down, the line of action, it intersects Y, so it doesn't count. So then we have TF. Let's see, TF times 1.5. Okay, and that'll be negative. All right. So then I know what TF is, which is 6. So then I'm going to have AZ, right? times 4 minus TF which is 6 times 1.5 ah uh, board okay 1.5 all divided by 4 so 36 minus 1.5 times 6 divided by 4 and then I get AZ is 6.75 kilonewtons. Okay. Now, let's see. TFT. Okay, now I have AZ and TE, so it's solve for TD. So TD is 9 minus AZ minus TE. Okay, so it's 9 minus 6.75, 9 minus 6.75, minus TE, which is 9. So minus 6.75 kilonewtons. Nice. I hope you guys have been able to keep up with these. Right, because if you're if you're getting this far, all right, that means you're doing a really good job, and you shouldn't have to worry about uh, any any like uh, what's it called any surprises on your exams, okay? Because you're just following like almost a a step by step method on how to solve all of them, regardless of the orientation or the types of reactions. Okay. Sweet. Well, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, look forward to doing another one of these videos for you guys. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below in the comment section. Or just shoot me a message, and I'll be happy to you know answer your questions. See you, see you guys.